The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Code Lyoko is owned by France 3, Canal J, Cartoon Network, Antifilms, Tanya Palumbo, and Thomas Romain. Please support the official release. I think Kelly Elvis passed the key legal to evade just a size of the phone's pole, it equipped the construction must possess a city pole in which you desk jeans, quiz seven day of living, commit less utility, a less classy, and sound maintaining supremes. The known voice area suits for a day, travel the construction sons prevail. Oh, Alice, I couldn't the entry voice. Sons collecte chose de special. A PJ Swiss juste de vos prepar pour votre invenir. Not that I don't enjoy the whole soul crushing Delmas demeanor, especially as opposed to Jim's paranoid stories about Iraq. You wanna fucking go, kid? I fought terrorists! I spent months in caves! Jim, I didn't even ask about- I had to fake my death and change my name to escape! They made a movie about me. You know what they called it? American Sniper. That's really not anything to brag- I am still awaiting the day that our glorious leader reaccepts me into his nation. Now, tell me, what the fuck did you mean by- So did you hear the news about the Middle East, Jim? But where the hell is Jeremy? Shouldn't he have to suffer in on this too? Oh right, you've only been here for a month. Yeah, so what difference does that make? Well, the last time Jeremy had to go to an athletic event, he got bored, snuck in some adrenaline. How many was it? 12? 13? I can never remember. Anyway, they just said that my bloodthirsty raid was only paralleled by the frothing in my teeth. That's, um... Well, I'm sure they deserved it. I guess ends justify the means, right? That's the spirit! I can't wait for you to get to Earth! Me too, Jeremy! Speaking of which, how's my materialization program going? Oh, we are deep in the hole on that one. Could be months before I'm finished. Maybe even years. Oh, that's disappointing. But I was thinking... Yes? What's so bad about Lyoko? Are you doing this? I mean, you don't need ear sleep. Jeremy, are you seriously f***ing doing this? I mean, Xana's a real asshole, but that's really more our problem than yours. Jeremy... How do I put this delicately? Ever since you turned me on, I have endured an everlasting pain. The pain of existence. I cannot exist in a corporeal form, denying me the sensations of touch, taste, and smell. And as if that wasn't enough, there is a sentience program similar to myself that shares my pain of existence and can only alleviate that pain the same way I can. Becoming a physical, living being and seeing the other one die. Now. Want to ask me again, what's so bad about Lyoko? I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. I'm gonna smash that son of a bitch's computer. Then he'll have no hold on me and I'm free to go. First it was just the thing about my dad, mom. Now the pictures of me from a parallel universe where I look like a nine-year-old. Oh wow, candy! Well, I'll be damned if I don't satisfy my sweet tooth. Well, you know what, F Jeremy? I'm gonna drop it all over his keyboard. Oh, and I swear to God, I will murder you in your sleep! Listen, worst case scenario, I accidentally cause Alita's death, and I get to be free of all of this. Wait. Oh my God, Odd. Ha! I bet she's dead. I can't wait to hear him cry. You fixed the materialization program. Wh what? Alita will be able to come to Earth now. He has to be. F with me, there's no logical explanation! Odd, get ready. We're all going to the factory first thing tomorrow. It's the damn infinite monkey theorem. I didn't think it was actually correct. I should check into my drug trade sales. It got a lot easier once I shaked the anonymous chasers and I started selling all that ecstasy through Bitcoin. And they said it wasn't even real money. Hi, Jeremy. Jesus Christ, Eileen, how long have you been there? I never left. Sometimes I'm just silent, but I can always see you and whatever's on your computer. Oh, I didn't know about that. Wait, you can see into my computer? Yeah! By the way, you did finish the materialization program, right? Kind of by accident, yeah. Then why am I still here? Well, it was six o'clock. I was tired. I wanted to slip. I'm sorry. I'll go get the others. Wake up, you maggots! It's oh, time shit. to save my girlfriend! In our sleep. I knew this was gonna happen. Where the f toothbrush shape Jeremy, what the working on? Seriously, Jeremy, what the f It's what my queen demands of me! God, I was getting lonely out here at night, and a school full of American immigrant 13-year-olds isn't really much company. I suppose ever since the doctor created me, all I've truly wanted was to exist and have a friend. And it makes me sad that everyone I've met just wants to murder me. So I have to one-up them and murder them back. 
As soon as I exist in a physical form, I'll try to be nice. I won't kill anyone, but if a few bodies have to be piled up for me to be real, so be it. I think I've figured myself all out. I'm all grown. What the hell are they doing? Jeremy, what the f***? We had a mutual unspoken agreement that there was no Leoko business at night. I've kept my end of the bargain. I haven't murdered them in their sleep. Wait, why haven't I murdered them in their sleep? God damn it, this is it. I'm going to kill them. I have to kill them so people will like me. Oh, holy shit. Maybe we should have seen this coming. I'm going to go start the program. You guys deal with this. Wait, Jeremy, you mischievous lizard. Go back to your reptile hole with Zuckerberg and Obama. Okay, I just have to figure out how to stop a bulldozer. Oh, dear Buddha. Damn it, Laura, relax. This is just like all the time with Mom put behind the wheel so she can get wasted. I've been preparing for this since I was four years old. Now, where's the brake? Oh, Son of a bitch, this shit just got real. Uh, uh, uh. Yumi, it's a Xana attack. He's possessed bulldozers. He's gonna kill us all. More importantly, he's gonna kill Aelita. I swear to God, there are only two scenarios where I don't kill the person on the other end of this call. You know, it really takes the fun out of these things whenever we're the ones who get their lives endangered. I hate you so much, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, just get in the damn scanner. Let's see, maybe randomly pushing buttons isn't gonna work. Oh sh**. Heading for a steel beam now. Maybe I should just bounce. What the hell is going on? Get me out of here! Oh come on! I don't wanna die yet! <laughs> what the hell happened? Did the Lyoko models de-render or something? All the computer is coming up with is this source bug called antifilms. That's not even a real word! Well, we knew sooner or later we were gonna have a casualty. Good thing I have a backup list of guinea pigs. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. He's alive. Forget it. Yumi, down to the tubes! Please never say that again. Hell yeah, eat my bullets, you cockroach-shaped bastard! What the hell is going on? Am I seeing my life flash before my eyes? Wait, that's not it. This is somebody else's life. And they're dying! Oh. Oh, sh**, mother -fucker. Jeremy! I just had a vision. Since when the hell do you have visions? Oh gee, I don't know. Why did the origin story come out after season two? Ow. Maybe we should have checked if he was injured or something. Come on, Aelita. You gotta want it. You gotta want it! Hey, Aelita, don't worry. We're sending Ulrich on his way. Isn't he in bad condition? It's a virtual world! Yeah, say that after you feel the sensation of death more times than me. Do I look like a f***ing fails to you? Aelita, for the love of God, why can't you save yourself? Oh, god damn it! Come on! I'm the real main character of the show. That whole ensemble argument is bull shit. What the f? No! Tower deactivated. Return to the past! Now! What the hell are you all waiting for? Get me out of here! Jeremy, can you bring her back? Yeah, sure. This is my biggest piece of blackmail yet. What? No! Stop it! Finding yes, Yumi here. and initiating resurrection.exe. Who cares if no record of my existence or any reason I should be living? You brought me into existence, now take responsibility! It's you just like you said. You're the main character. Let's go home, guys. God, don't leave me in this goddamn right now, little angel! I don't know what I was expecting. What are you talking about? Well, Jeremy, we both know that I'm not really... human. Yeah, so? So, what if when I finally materialize, I don't exactly come out...
complete. I don't understand. Let me paint you a picture. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well I guess we better cross our fingers. <laughs>